Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and this one's on uh, Taragadoom and Evok and Kreka from 2004, of course. So on the front of the manual, entry that, well, only entry have her Taragadoom and Evok here. Have the large Bionicle logo, Bionicle.com. Picture of Taragadoom and Evok cracking through a wall there with Metro Nui in the background. And then large Lego logo and set number 8621 has Doom and Evok there. And then front page of which is large cityscape of Metro Nui, quite cool. And also both of the features of it. On the back side is advertisement for the Bonkle 2 Legends of Metro Nui movie. Then how to win on the online survey in Legoland. And then large promotional poster of the Vaki and, and also some stills from the movie. And then advertisement for the two other Titan sets from this time. And like Nadiki, who I previously reviewed, and Kreka, which I am also reviewing in this review. And then other half of which is one bit of instructions for Ultimate Duma set. And which I previously reviewed in my or mentioned in my Nidiki review for that. Check that out if you want. And then the last features and building steps. So first off is Tarangaduma, uh, right here, which as you can see from first glance, pretty much just the same build as all the Metro Matoran, of course, but in a very distinct color scheme, the well recolored in light red, and yeah, light red, of course, but also instead of having the traditional limbs, it is actually the Borok limbs, like we saw on Tana Call or from the year prior, of course. And feet which also the same as the uh, Boroks and Metrumatorin for that, but in black here. But also the uh, torso piece, same as all of them, but in light red. So, kind of interesting to get there. And then the backside, which also all the same as that. And now it's for the headpiece, which is just the one, or the brainstock piece in orange and headpiece in black, of course. Nice to see there. And as for this mask piece, which didn't stay exclusive just to him, but also did come in a couple of two other sets as afterwards that, like Toahaga Doric the following year, and also a uh, Dakar in Mari Nui, of course. But of course, but also looking almost like how it does in the uh, Legends of Metro Nui movie, like with the two piston things on the sides and also a eye spot for that. And of course, does have a plus rod type connection like masks have started to get at this time for that. And slips on like so. And that's about it with Tarang Duma. And now, on to Nivok. Well, since the companion part of the set. Which, for first glance, quite tall for that. Well, since for all the technic beaming and rods that there are. And of course. Which from this back side you can see how the main feature goes like, which I'll talk about later. And of course, quite thin and skimpy for how it is, but yeah. Uh, let me zoom in a bit. So for the feet, which mostly these uh, Technic bits and also these kind of interesting uh, boss joint kind of pieces where it's like the traditional kinds, but with the uh, top rod part like sticking upwards rather than sideways, and also with the 
a semi rubberish parts or rubberish bit on there so of course these nice to have and good to have for mocking of course and of course the talons which comprise mostly uh, golly mata hooks but in silver and then the shin just a rakshi limb and then as for the thighs of which which are comprised mostly just uh, various rods bits and such and also these pieces from the robo riders kind of around there then of course to add a bit more meat to it or more bits to it and then of course have the light staves going down for that and if I were to guess why it is so it can like stand better on the knees or whatever if any of you know why exactly like that tell in the comments but yeah And then further up at the main body part, which is how Tarana Duma gets put into it, which I'll show in a bit as you can see, comprised of mostly some more bits of which, and also these kind of flex pieces, like we also saw in Nadiki in the wave, and also further up have some like a uh, slicer throwback pieces, but in light gray or silver, which and of course, this which good only time we ever saw the return of that. Well, until Rudaka the following year, of course. But nice to see it finally returning from uh, Throwbot and also uh, Kane Ra in 2001, of course. And now further up, which is just the head part, which is kind of resting on a Toa Metru limb there. And then as for the head of which, which made of Toa Nuva Pohatu's uh, claw bit part, and also Toa Mata Onua's claw for a top mouth part, and two different colors of Borak eyes in solid black and translucent orange for that, and also one of those Technic bits like we saw on Puku and also Brutaka in as well, acting as a back head part, or kind of a crest look. And so now, on to one of the features of which, which if I zoom out a bit, where you like push on this part and the wings can fold right out. And as he the wings made of Technic beams in mostly black and also in silver. So if you're like looking to make some large Technic mock with some silver in it, this is which a good option for that. And the wings made of a uh, Vaki key racks kind of believe or tool weapons probably to give it the wing effect even though in the movie they were mostly like kind of webbed in like bat like bat wings and such and also were fully postable as full arms but but didn't bother doing it for this set but whatever and as for this front part of which where you can just Pull it forward, take Tarana Duma, and slide him right inwards, and then closes in on him. Then he's just all set and ready. Even though it doesn't really happen in the Legends of Metro Nui movie, but still kind of mysterious why this feature is right there, but whatever. And so now that's about it with Tarana Duma and Eva. And now on to Kreka, who of course probably like the dumb one, the dumb one of the Kreka and Adiki pair, or, or otherwise, oh, whoops, the Metronui Dark Hunters. That and of course consisting of color scheme is of dark blue and white. Or that kind of interesting there. And also, one of the only times where there was a blue character that was male. That, that was male rather than uh, females like we usually get from the water elemented characters well until in the 2009 Glatorians of course and so now on to the feet which as you see do have these uh, traditional technique beam pieces but in 
uh, dark blue, good to get for mocking, and this odd assemblage with a Toa Metru uh, leg piece or leg armor piece, but as an extra greeble detail, and also all around it, and also on both sides of the of the foot, are most like are especially slicer or throwback feet in white. Nice to get there. And then as for the shins, which are just Toa Metru shin pieces in dark blue and with Toa Metru feet in silver. And of course, which was probably exclusive to this set. Well, until a couple of sets, a few sets the following years, of course. And as for the shin, or the thighs, which are quite small for that. But with some extra bits to it, and also another kind of technique beam in dark blue, and those pieces in dark blue, which also came on Butaka two years later. For that. Then, as for his uh, main torso bit, or actually before that, get out to the arms here, like one just another uh, Toa Metru limb in dark blue, and going out to the to uh, this Vaki tool representing his forearm and uh, hand for that. Then the other armor, which which is just a Toa Mata uh, leg piece, and then leading up to a the green Vaki kind of tool bit, also representing his other forearm there. Although it would be nice if these were both recolored in dark blue to match the rest of the color scheme, or at least be a mix of silver and dark blue. For them. Then as for the head, which as you can see is mostly comprised of a white Vaki head and the Borak tooth piece for a lower jaw. There. And have this little system tube with a trans red stud on it representing the single eye that he, of course, usually has there. And the rest has this uh, Rakshi back body piece, but in dark blue. Kind of interesting, interesting to see there. Well, and also one of the only times reused outside the Rakshi sets, well, until Baraki Mantax in the 2007 Baraki line, of course. And as for the body part, is just mostly a toy metru torso, or I mean waist bit, and some various bit technic beaming for that, and also this traditional kind that most Titan sets had, both around in the Metru Nui saga for that, where it was like these uh, like beams that hold the ball joints in them that branch out to that. Since, of course, it was before Paraka and Nika torsos, then. And whereas on both shoulders, which have the uh, Toa Nuva uh, shoulder bits, but are pad pieces, but in dark blue. Nice to see there. And also, again, great to use for mocking, and also these silver Toa Metru legs or feet on there. Same with on the back of him, and also this uh, Barak piece which is for one of the features of that. Which you know, put on that and disc launchers comes forward. And of course one side which has the this piece which is also on Kitangu for that. And has a disc launcher that all the Matoran all have. And also the brown um, brown disc piece or the or rather stone disc for that for some reason, but whatever. And now, and another feature is with this technic bit on there, you can like twist it back and forth, and it lets this front part, including the head, swivel back and forth. Well, also including a uh, Rakshi foot, but in dark blue. Also good to get there. And also, a uh, little interesting thing with it is. That you know how in the Mask of Light movie, the uh, Vaki set, Rakshi sets, put their feet forward and levitate and fly, but so, oh whoops, also he can. 
which is for that scene in the Legends of Metro Dewey movie when he and Nidiki do that and fly off and he's like, uh, do you think they went this way? And Nidiki like, why do I bother? Kind of interesting thing to note about, but yeah. And so now on to the final verdict. Overall, I think these of which are pretty good, are really cool sets for the time, and they still well hold up for that. Like Tarang Doom and Divok, which it was good to have a, yet another Taraka that's a little diff to add into the collection. Well, even though not the same build as the original 2001 Tarakas all were, but but of course he was a good recolor of pieces for for both the limbs and the uh, Matoran body piece for that. And whereas for Kreka, which it was nice to have some pieces recolored in dark blue. Great to use for mocking and such. And, and of course both of which do have some good features like the uh, disc launcher part and the Vox wings folding out and such. And Kraka does also work out as a good parts pack, like, well, for the dark blue and so on. And for the price points that they were, $20 back in 2004, well, which with inflation would be around $33 or so, but it would still kind of bear for as is. And, but also with Neva, perfect symmetry. Like if you're much of a symmetry person, well workable for you. And so, now, and so if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access and are still looking to get these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.